You know, we get letters all the time, and I'd say some of my favorite letters that we receive were from people who whose lives have changed dramatically after they've either been on a show or that they've seen a show that we've done. I gotta read something. Listen to this. I realize while watching, just says, Dear Montel, I realize while watching your show, I had to do something about my weight. I was a size 24 and saw your show with women who went to incredible lengths to lose weight and look better. I know that I needed to make a change in my life. I like to show off my new look. Sincerely, Joyce. And we looked at this. I looked at the letter, you know, and we got a couple pictures, and I was going, I just really can't see this. And you want to talk about a person who's made a dramatic change. Take a look at your screen. This is Joyce uh, right here. Joyce, before she lost 100 pounds. See this picture? You got her? Everybody got a look of Joyce? See that picture right there? That's Joyce. Mm-hmm. Baby, baby. Please welcome Joyce to the show. Joyce, let me just dance you for a second. Now, wait, don't sit down yet, because I'm still looking at I'm going to dance you one more time. I'm sorry. Jeez, look at, sit down. Joyce, 100 pounds. How did you do this? Now, let's talk about this for a minute. I was 215 pounds. I couldn't, I couldn't move. I have seven-year-old twins, and my twins are special needs children. And it's very difficult for me to... Um, to, you know, run around with them at the time. I work with three and five-year-olds, and it's very, very difficult for me. I was feeling very badly about my body, um, and I had I struggled with weight loss before, mm -hmm. and I actually had, I thought I had conquered it, but then I had my twins, and I was told I needed to gain weight. And from that point on, it went on and on and on, and it was for me to find out about the surgery, and this is something I did. So this is not just surgery, though, what you have been able to maintain. You work out every day. You do how many crunches a day, sit-ups a day? Five to a thousand, just once. Five hundred to a thousand every day. I do. You're pumping weights, you're I, working out. And I also um, have started kickboxing. Kickboxing. And you I just turned you your whole stuff around, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I... <laughs> I mean, I'm looking at the pictures, and I'm looking at the pictures that you showed us of you when you... It, this is like almost an entirely different person. I've got to say this because this is a statement from the National Institute of Health. Now, severe obesity is a chronic condition that is very difficult to treat. Surgery to promote weight loss by restricting food intake, interrupting digestive processes, is an option for severely obese people. A body mass index, which is 40, which means about 100 pounds overweight for a man, and at least 80 pounds overweight for a woman indicates that a person is severely obese and therefore is a candidate for this surgery. This is not something that we would recommend to anybody out here who just wants to lose some weight, but if you follow exactly what they tell you to do, you follow the regimen, now that this has been done, you have to eat more meals than you did before you started. And you eat six meals a day, at least six meals a day. And they're smaller portions. They're smaller portions, and they're healthier. That's another thing. It's like, it changed my life that mm -hmm. I, I eat healthy, uh, healthier, I also work out, the, the surgery is only a tool, a tool, and it was, it's a tool that got me started, and your show was a catalyst that got me going. And I think, I don't know if you know how often your show impacts people, even if you're not even aware of how it's impacting people. There's so many women out there, and, and men too, but women out there whose only source of information are the shows that they watch. And the fact that you are giving them this information is just tremendous. Well, thank you very yeah. much. And thank you for taking it. Because, but you know what? I'll tell you what, Joyce. Please, please welcome the CEO of the Gym Source, Mr. Richard Miller, to the show. So, Richard, you heard about our story with Joyce. You know she's working out all the time. She's got kids at home. She needs to be able to go to the gym and come back and back and forth. She may need some extra stuff. What did you want to do for her? We wanted to make sure that she could continue her exercise program at home. And so the Gym Source and Cybex International wants to make you this gift right here. Right there. With the unrecognized finest treadmill in the world, the Prada 400. Go ahead and check it out. That's for you, Joyce, to maintain that body. Thank you so much, sir. And I tell you, if you need, you need some equipment, 
for a home gym, you go to the gym I source and buy it because they can do it. It's not plugged in. But you know what, Joyce? I hope you can use that when you get home. We're going to take a little break. We come back and meet a woman who wants to confront one of our former guests, a guest that was on a show when we did a show about families torn apart by race. A young lady watched that show, was infuriated, wants to talk to one of the mothers that were on the show. We'll do that when we come back. We'll be back right after this. Dear Mr. Williams, I'm